The NTSB's timeline reveals there was less than five minutes between when the Dolly vessel's onboard alarm went off and the crash into the key bridge. Seconds before the ship loses all power, the Dolly drops anchor, likely trying to slow down the vessel. But then, a little over two minutes later, it crashes into the bridge. Last night, the head of the NTSB, Jennifer Homendy, said there were 56 containers of hazardous materials on board the Dolly when it crashed. That comes out to 760 tons of hazardous materials. Mostly corrosives, flammables, uh, and some miscellaneous hazardous materials, class 9 hazardous materials, which uh, would include lithium ion batteries. She says some of those containers are in the water, adding this is a pretty dangerous situation, preventing officials from getting to the hazardous materials to assess what remains. She also described challenges just getting onto the ship. Police boat them out, and they use a Jacob's ladder to get aboard. It's raining, it's slippery. Of course, we have the hazardous materials. Uh, we have containers that are open. Uh, we certainly have um, structural damage everywhere. Uh, so we have to make sure that we have our safety gear. For families, there is some relief. Two bodies of loved ones were recovered. 35-year-old Alejandro Hernández Fuentes of Mexico and 26-year-old Dorlian Ronial Castillo Cabrera of Guatemala. Divers found them inside a work truck about 25 feet deep near the middle of the bridge. Yo creo que es para todas, para todas las That's Carlos Alexis Suauso, the brother of one of the men still missing. 38-year-old Maynard Yasser Suauso from Honduras. Carlos said he believes this is a difficult time for all families. 49-year-old Miguel Luna from El Salvador and two other men are still missing. You saw Carlos so emotional there. Um, right then he said they're going to keep seeing in what way God keeps them strong and gives them more strength as the search continues and they keep waiting. And you know, the NTSB says that's the focus of today, to have more families reunite with their loved ones. Their outreach team has been helping families, providing resources to try and provide some comfort during this difficult time.